Gabe on the right. Coach, do you feel like a lot of your guys defensively quit on you on Saturday? And if so, how tempting is it to no longer play those guys? Well, I don't feel like they quit at all. I mean, you go back and you watch the film. Um, you know, as we got into the ebb and flow of the game, got some guys dinged up, which, uh, you know, hurt us a little bit, especially up front. Um, you got to give Alabama credit. I mean, I told you guys last week, that's a good, really good football team we just played. And, um, you know, to me, as you go back and you look at the film, tackling and third downs, there was the key to the game for us on defense. You know, you work so hard to get them to third down and you can't get off the field against a good team like that. Um, and the drive continues, it's hard. It's hard, especially when you're not tackling well. And, and to be honest with you, Gabe, they had something to do with that. You know, I mean, they're pretty good, so. Over to the left, Cease. Mark, I was going to ask about tackling. Coach talked about being the whole team being more physical. Mm -hmm. Do you have to be more physical in practice, or how does it go about? Because you probably had more missed tackles that game, I would assume, than any other game. Yeah, we did. Uh, and again, you know, a little bit of it's got to do with who we're playing. But we had way too many missed tackles in the first half, way too many. And we addressed that at halftime. And I felt like it got a little better uh, in the second half. But, um, you know, that's where it's at right now. I mean, um, you know, on our side of the ball, everything's been open. See, so, I mean, we, we've been rolling guys, playing guys, playing a lot of guys. Um, nobody's in sure spot on our side of the ball. You feel your practice is physical yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, we got a bye week. you got to be careful. I mean, that's such a fine line. I mean, we've played eight games, you know. And, and, and the problem is you get guys up front that, especially now that we're in the meat of our schedule, we've played some really good football teams that are very, very physical. And you lose some of your older guys when you get into a game like that. Um, it really doesn't help much. So you got. I think there's a fine line there. Um, um, can our younger guys get more? Absolutely, and they're going to get a whole bunch of it this week. Go middle, Sam, and then down front, Brent. Mark, what can you do at this point, uh, given the depth with linebackers and the, the play that they've got, they've given you so far? I'm sorry, one more time. What, what can you do with linebackers at this point? I mean, like what? what? In terms of, you know, correcting some of the mistakes and – Well, the, the mistakes are tackling. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's your mistakes. It's tackling people, you know. So, what do you do there? You go out and tackle. You know, we finally got a bye week, and we will tackle this week. That I can promise you. Would there, is there a chance we could start seeing some faces that we haven't seen? Who? There's nobody left. <laughs> I mean, you got who you – we're going to play Ataro a lot more. I mean, he, he went in and – uh, for the second week in a row, it did pretty good. So you'll see a little bit more of a Taro. Um, Maybe Walker, Chavis, anybody like that? No, uh, I'm not here today, no. Down front, Brent. How, d during a regular game week, I know you just said y'all are going to practice more, but during a regular game week, how much do y'all work on actual tackling, in, in physical tackling? The, the rules practice? have changed, Brent. I mean, they have changed so much. Uh, the number of days that you're allowed to tackle, where you can hit a quarterback. Um, I mean, it's they, they've changed a little bit. Uh, we, we try to tackle as much as we can. Um, and again, there's that fine line of um, um, not getting your guys banged up and getting them to Saturday. And there's the, there's the hard part of that whole thing. But again, the rules have changed a little bit in camp. I mean, you're only allowed to tackle every other day. Um, it's, uh, so it, it makes it a little bit harder each and every year defensively um, to get fundamentals done. Right here, Kate. Mark, what's your priority list beyond tackling? What, what do you want to go about fixing, if you can? Well, I mean, we got to get back to being who we were, you know? I mean, as you look through the season and you get a bye week, you get to evaluate a little bit. Uh, we weren't up to standard at Mississippi State, and obviously we weren't up to standard this week. Um, I felt like we were coming every other week, you know, that we played pretty decent against Ole Miss. We, put, we held our own against Arkansas. Um, you know, Mississippi State, they were right about their average. And then obviously this week we ran into a buzzsaw big time. To the right, Gabe. What was going on a few plays where the guys were trying to get lined up, especially on the D line as the ball was being snapped? You talking about their NASCAR plays, their fast paced plays? They got into an unbalanced situation where we need to get the front moved. And everybody's pointing at the unbalanced tight end because that had hurt us in the past with the tight end at Arkansas, as a matter of fact. Uh, the one that got called back when the tight end was on the nub and went down the sideline. So everybody's pointing at the tight end on the nub. You know, now we got to get in our stance and play football. Down front, Brent. 
when Texas A&M's offense is, is different sometimes, or a lot of times than what y'all face in the SEC, how do you handle that during the week? And I think we've asked you that before. Yeah, but we, we, does we, the know, scout team provide enough in that situation? You know, or? that's hard. That's A lot of that's got to be done. Um, a lot of that's got to be done in spring and fall camp. And Coach Sumlin brings our offense over and runs those plays good on good. Um, now that we've gotten into the meat of the SEC, he takes we, we take a period where we get the good guys against our defense, and it's 11 on 11. Uh, live board tackling, and we run about a dozen of their plays to give us that look. And he actually runs the offense for us. Middle, Sam. I noticed Amari Cooper got a lot of catches with space from, from the cushion from the corners. Can you take me through a little bit of that kind of strategy? -wise? I can, yeah. Um, you know, we, we knew when they won the toss and took the ball that something was up. They felt, you know, what was it going to be? I forecasted quarterback run. That's what I thought. I thought we would get a heavy dose of quarterback run. Um, their plan was to take Omari from the boundary away from DeShazer and put him to the field. That's what they learned after the Arkansas game. Arkansas doubled him up into the boundary. They got into a personnel grouping where they know I can't get that field corner any help. Uh, and, and, you know, we had two eight out there. And uh, they put their best guy um, on our new guy. And that's good coaching on their part. That was part of their whole first drive, that whole first series. Um, you know, play a little timid out there, no doubt about it. I mean, that guy's good, you know. And, uh, you know, you saw us get one in the game pretty quick uh, after that first drive. Because he's played against Amari, you know, had some confidence, and he actually played pretty well. I'm talking about number one. But that was kind of their deal, Sam. They took Amari, put him out there. You know, we, we tried to go Ferraris on Ferraris, and they put him over there next, next to 2 8. And, um, you know, after the first drive, we had to adjust a little bit. Anything else? All right, Coach Snyder. Okay, thanks. thank you. Thank you.